<laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48's World, and we're going to bust this store right on open. We're just going to go straight to the meat and potatoes because I'm trying to figure it out myself. Atlanta Black Star brought it out in their article, and Tia Berger wrote up an article uh, commentary on Miss K. Michelle returning back to love and hip hop uh, Hollywood. She was formerly uh, with. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. That's how she got a start. And she got a spinoff show called K. Michelle. I covered both. I did both reviews. And, you know, the reason why she left Hollywood, uh, Love and Hip Hop, was because of her block surgery. She said they made too much of a big deal of it. I wish she would have came back and did Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because that's where she initially started. But, hey, we'll take her however we can get her, right? So why don't we get right on in this story? It was written by uh, Tia Berger. She put it out on yesterday, which was Sunday. Today is in the wee hours of Monday morning. Uh, my last video for today, of course. But she's joined the cast of Hollywood Hip Hop, um, Love and Hip Hop. We have April Jones there. I'm sorry, that was Princess Love. Then we had Ray J and Princess Love. Then we had Lula Anderson. You see right there. Yes, you see her right there. Uh, her other cast members is A1 Bentley um, coming up shortly. We still got a picture showing of Lyric Anderson, but that's A1 Bentley. He's on the uh, new uh, series or season that's going to air in August coming up on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And we got, um, I think his name is Mick Monday. Uh, Yes, he's a little rock star running around there. And we also have Little Fizz and April Jones. You know, April Jones been on social media lately showing her cookies <laughs> and why she's bringing all the boys to the yard, okay? And then we got no other than K. Michelle joining the cast back. She quit the show. I'm going to get into this article and see why she came back to the show and uh, what brought her back to the show. I'm thinking more so she needed the revenue. She needed the money. Everything is kind of like maybe slow on her end and the quick paycheck is better than no paycheck and waiting um, and just getting staying relevant in the game. So I can see why she came back. Don't nobody go backtracking unless they have to. Finances are not looking good. They're more so in the red instead of in the black. When you're in the black, you're making money. When you're in the red, hmm, you need to get somewhere and... um. Work many, many jobs, okay? So that's my take, my spiel on why she went back to just alleviate the uh, elephant in the room, okay? Because ain't nobody going to backtrack when they can continue to go forward. If her album sales were doing remarkably well, she wouldn't probably be here. But I think she is an independent contractor. I'm thinking when it comes to her music, uh, she's pretty much her own machine. So when you're doing everything by yourself and you don't have that big, banking of a uh, uh, institution behind you uh, to let you have creative uh, freedom to produce music that you like to produce you know you're doing it all by yourself you're a one lady machine you know what i'm saying it, it can be a lot so um i can see why she went back okay it's better to um learn how to fish and you can fish for a whole and you can have food for the rest of the year then not knowing how to fish and you just have to take different kind of odd jobs to keep what you got in a sense. And I think that's where she is at at this point. I don't think she's destitute. Don't get me wrong. Because I think she still have her, her restaurant puffing petals. And, you know, she's just trying to really maintain and keep everything she got. Uh, and that's a good business move. Now, if anybody can tell me what happened to this marriage she was supposed to be partaking of and these twins she was supposed to be having with this man she's supposed to be marrying, let me know, okay? Let me know. Because it seems like that's all under the water, under the bridge. Now, she's moving uh, or forging ahead solo and single, okay? Uh, but let's get into this article that was written by a columnist or journalist uh, columnist or journalist for Atlanta Black Star. She titled it "Why TF uh, She's Back." Fam, excuse me. Fans slam K Michelle for return to love and hip hop Hollywood after she quit. And she quit last year. But hey, like I said, things change, honey. Finances change, and it'll make you change. All right. 
That was my pun, my sidebar, not in this article. Going back to the article we have, it looks like Love and Hip Hop Hollywood's viewers can expect some of the show's veterans to appear or reappear on the upcoming season. The season six trailer of Love, Hip Hop, Hollywood dropped this week and fans were shocked to see R&B singer K. Michelle starring on the show. Okay, for those who need a reminder, K and K. Michelle quit the series last season after blaming producers for their sloppy editing. She apparently felt some type of way at the time about season five trailer referencing her health-threatening plastic surgery as blotched, okay? I quit already, she tweeted to a fan in June of 2018 when asked if she was returning back to love hip-hop. <laughs> Hollywood, stop it, Jack. <laughs> stop. Uh, Hollywood, stop it. 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 Hollywood, or putting 10 on a 1,000, trying to take a storyline and put all this false information in it. And some of it's true, but some of it, majority of it was false. But, you know, that's what they do in editing. They want the drama. They don't want all this other carefree, good feeling type stuff. They want drama, drama, drama. So, okay, you should have known better. You should have kept your coin moving and, and, and did what you had to do and explain as you go along <laughs> and let it go like that. Everybody got paid, okay? Because nobody really care about entertainers in a sense. They look for the drama, mindless drama that is. Take us from our everyday drama that we have in our lives as individuals. So, you know, it's just like, you know, peering in, looking in the fishbowl under the uh, slab of a, a, a specimen under a microscope. You know, that's how they have entertainers. And, okay, you knew what the entertainment field uh, dealt in and how they treat people. So you should be a veteran in knowing that information and not making these kinds of mistakes. But it is what it is. Water on the bridge. Keep it moving. That was my sidebar. Uh, let me see. Uh, going back to the article, it says, oh, cool. I'm cool. I mean, I guess I guess she's saying she's cool. She didn't add it done, done. Okay, this is what she was tweeting out, I guess, on her uh, social media platform when people had found out that she quit uh, last season. Okay, then it goes back to say, well, it looks like the pay my bill singer may have had a change of heart and will be a part of the new season's cast wearing a cowgirl hat and get up. Okay, says in the trailer, y'all thought y'all seen it, but y'all ain't seen shit like this okay yes y'all seen me shake the table but you ain't seen me like this a little bit of country ain't never hurt nobody i don't know she got on a cowboy hat and a nice looking gown dress outfit with her red boosting blaring hair don't know what that all and then it just introduces the cast of um the show's cast members that's coming up for this season uh, from left to right, they have Princess Love, Ray J, Noah Wood, Lyrica Anderson, A1 Bentley, Mickey Monday, Lil Fizz, April Jones, and of course, Kate Michelle. Going back to the article, it says, a bit confused and upset, viewers wondered why the R&B artist made her way back to the VH1 small screen after last year's squabble. Some people wrote, what TF? Uh, I guess the fuck, right? She's back. I could have sworn she made a big deal and quit last year. Them albums, or the, them last albums didn't do well, huh? These are people on, I guess, the website uh, taking comments in their uh, comment section where after the article was displayed on K. Michelle coming back to Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And then we have another response says, K. Michelle just gonna, wait a minute, K. Michelle just gonna, going for one Love and hip hop to another. Sis needs them coins, okay? Bye, K. Michelle. Why, TF, the fuck you keep coming back? Been on Love and Hip Hop since Atlanta. She needs a check, apparently. Didn't K quit? Why is why is she on this trash show again? I think she might need the money. 
Okay, K. Michelle has starred on the Love and Hip Hop franchise since its first aired in 2012, featuring Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She made her way over to Love Hip Hop New York, and now she's with or she's on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Okay, a few fans are looking forward to the star's return. I am. I covered her when she had her little spinoff show, My Life. Uh, I think she got three seasons, I believe, three or four seasons. Look in my archives, honey. I have a lot of videos concerning her and her little friend. I forgot what his name was, but the little gay guy that was doing her makeup and her hair and all this. Uh, probably her stylist. You know, he was all three and one. He was together. He was put together. Okay, he was easy on my eyes. Yes, very handsome. Young man, I can't think of his name, though. But I'm sure I will after I finish taping. That's how it usually happens for us creator contenters. Uh, but going back to the article, it says she'll be starring on the show along with Veterans co-star April Jones, Little Fizz, A1 Bentley, Lyrica Anderson, Ray J. Norwood, Princess Love, and newcomer Mickey Monday. Other uh, favorites such as Brooke Valentine, Marcus Black, rock star Tierra Mari, Saf Safari Samus will apparently not be returning to uh, the se this season. The season premiere will air Monday, August 5th on VH1 Network. And that was it for that article. And yes, I will be reviewing. Yes, I will be tuning in to K. Michelle. Maybe she can answer some of my questions. And I'm wondering, you know, that's shaking the table over here where I reside. Why is she married? What's she supposed to get married? What's she supposed to have twins? I'm lost. I'm lost in all that sauce. So maybe she could uh, answer some of my questions if I tune in, okay? But I'll give y'all my honest opinionated opinion. Of course, you know that's what I do. Uh, love your comments. Uh, we may have to agree to disagree on certain things I post. Because you definitely have an opinion. You definitely have a state of mind to comment and let me know how you feel. I appreciate them all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay? But that's all I have for this particular uh, article that was written again by Atlanta Black Star. Introduced to us by Tia Berger. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please, please, please share my videos. And I will see you next time for another video on what's trending, okay, in that social media platform. Bye-bye.